Now for this next part then, I've filled in the table that we were given with the values of P and Q that we found earlier, 0.4 and 0.1 respectively. Remember we're given that E of X was 0.55 and so we've got to find the variance of X. Now to find the variance of X we should be familiar with this particular formula that the variance of X equals E of X squared minus E of X all squared and I'll just write that with a square bracket on the outside there E of X all squared. Now we've got E of X 0.55 so that's easy we can square that but we haven't got E of X squared. So what is E of X squared? Well you should remember that E of X squared okay, is equal to the sum sigma of our observed value squared multiplied by the corresponding probabilities. So if we use this formula first of all it means that we've got to do the first value observed value minus 1 square it and multiply it by its corresponding probability which is 0.4 and then sigma being to add and we've got naught squared now I know that's naught but I want to show the working anyway so uh, we'll just put that in 0.1 and if we keep this going we've got 1 squared multiplied by the 0.2 plus 2 squared multiplied by 0.15 and finally the 3 that is squared and that is also multiplied by 0.15 so if you work that out what you're going to get is 2.55 so that's E of X squared so therefore we're in a position now to work out the variance of X and it's worth mentioning at this point as we substitute these values in E of X squared 2.55 minus the mean 0.55 E of X all squared. It's worth pointing out that you'll know that you've made a mistake if this value comes out to be negative. Variance is always a positive value. So it's worthwhile remembering that, okay? Because occasionally, you know, when you put things into calculators, it's very easy to make mistakes. So just be aware of that, okay? So if you do that, you'll find you get 2.2475. Um, you can leave it like that. That's the exact value. Or you might want to give it as a fraction. I'm sure it won't matter either way. 899 then over 400 is the exact value as a fraction. Okay, well that's the variance of X. Now, in the next part, okay, we're asked to, we could squeeze it down here. It's not worth that many marks, only two. So what we could we've got to do is work out what we would expect e of 2x minus 4. What does that work out to be? Well, when you've got something like this, it's the same as e of 2x minus e of 4. And if you've got a constant times a random variable, we should know that this is the same as that constant, 2 in this case, multiplied by e of x. And then what would we expect a constant to be? Well, e of a constant is always that constant. So in this case, it's going to be minus 4. So all you've got to do then is 2 times e of x, which was 0 0.55, which we were given earlier, minus 4 and if you work that out you end up with minus 2.9 so that is the last part then of the question and any of these ideas as I say you can actually see them in tutorials on my website okay